Namaste. I'm back to tell you about the twos. Madam Rosa here. After my first video, I did get the flu and I was down for the count for a few days and it's taken me a few days to get back into the swing of things. So as promised, I'm back with the twos and I want to tell you more about all these cards. So let's get into it. We ended with the aces and the aces have drive to, to produce and to complete, whereas the twos have a desire to find balance and their complement. So the twos are obviously a couple. Two is obviously two. So what the twos have inherently in deep down inside is a desire to complete themselves or to become part of a partnership of some sort. And so the twos are those kids you're going to find in first grade and kindergarten who already have a boyfriend or already have a girlfriend. And so as they go along in their life, if they're not aware of this need at an early age or even later on, they tend to, they can become aloof and they can seem as though they're uncaring when nothing could be further from the truth. So they can have a lot of dysfunction in relationships, creating things without awareness. But as they become more aware and they're able to attract that love that they so desire and that they've come into this lifetime to experience, they, um, have to do inner work. So the twos and everybody has to do inner work and theirs pertains to oftentimes um, love. When um, the twos are out of balance, they can go to extremes in love. They can become very uh, loner-ish or be alone for long periods of time and then all of a sudden fall head over heels in love. And um, <clears throat> so it's finding that balance and finding that compliment and the right compliment that is um, part of the path of the twos. The twos are very, very beautiful. They're very intelligent. They've been gifted with good looks. Because of this inherent soul desire, the universe and their manifestation in the physical is one of attraction because they need that to attract their other half. And they are often very beautiful and very capable, very intuitive. Um, but they have a fear, and that is the fear of being alone. And there is no other card, card more having fear of being alone than the Two of Hearts. The Two of Hearts is the card of the love affair, and it's the card of the soul union. And this is a card which is part of the seven. I never mentioned the aces, but the ace of clubs is one of the special seven. There's a special group of seven cards that have karma with one another. And this card is a card um, which is considered a, a karmic soul twin of the Ace of Clubs. And both the Ace of Clubs and the Two of Hearts have a tendency to always want to find that one true love, like the one and only true love, the best true love. And But yet they have a pitfall in that they will almost always settle for anybody in some ways. So that is something that they need to look for and do the work that is needed. Come here, Jade. And do the work that is needed to attract the right mate or to um, become the right mate for that union that they so idealize in life. Um, so the two, the two of Hearts is a great card and it's a card um, that they oftentimes associate with people of means and people of power um, and they, um, but no matter what, with all of the twos, a study of spirituality and metaphysical stuff will always benefit them. Um, I'm going to go on to the next card. And for some reason, while I'm doing the video, my cat's going to stand at the door and cry as if I can interrupt my video and let her out, which is, I think, very obnoxious. Jade, are you a two? I'm not sure what she is. Hmm. So the two of clubs is the card of conversation. And the two of clubs is a card that embodies the fear of being alone in, not the fear of being alone, but there's a fear of death. So because they have a karma card, which is the ace of spades, which is the card of death and transformation, the two of clubs is a card that has everything going for them, but yet they maintain sometimes a very strange plan B as if their real life isn't going to work out. For example, I have a beautiful friend. She's an excellent dancer and a very lovely dance teacher. And she gets along with everybody, so she has no need to fear. But yet she maintains a couple of work suits in her closet in case she ever has to go back to an office job. So there is a plan B and a fear 
a death card with or a fear of things not working out with the two of clubs the two of clubs though is a great card and it's a card of um it just it where am i i wanted to say that the two of clubs has a karma card which is the six of spades which is a card of fate so they will find themselves in relationships that seem as though they are fated or from destiny and destined relationships from past lives and soulmates coming up so that is something that they do experience and it is true and I've seen it but um, they do need to squash their fear because mostly these fears are ungrounded or unfounded now the wheeler and the dealer card is the two of diamonds the two of diamonds has a great desire for partnership and a great desire for love and yet they are very good at partnerships and business and they can be people who are trying to find a balance between society's demands on them to be sociable and partnering up with friends and working on their business so sometimes they can be incredibly work oriented and focus too much on work and then on the other hand they may need to find a balance where they are saved from society so they can actually get some work done they are a card of, um, let me see my notes really quick. Um, they do have fixed attitudes and principles. So um, they usually feel very, very committed in relationships. Jade, please, really? Okay. All right. Give me a second, Jade. I'm doing a video. Jade's the princess in the house, and I don't think she realizes that sometimes she has to take a, a backseat to mom. So, anyway, long story short, let me get down to the next one. Um, they, they have a very strong need for affection, and they need to acknowledge this and not maintain distance or aloofness in relationships. But at the same time, um, they do have very fixed, they are governed by very fixed principles in love. So, the two of diamonds also as the wheeler and the dealer is very good with money so you can give this person a dollar and next week they may have ten or a hundred dollars they're very good with money and they know how to manage it very well finally is the two of spades and um, the two of spades is the card of friendship this is a card that my grandmother and my sister have and my I see it in both of their lives how devoted they are to their friends and yet they do have the ability to um, find themselves in positions of power or positions where they are promoted. My, um, they're destined for recognition or fame, in fact, like Rob Zombie, you know, that's his card. And um, my goodness, Jade, really? <laughs> I'm now going to throw something at her. Now go play with that. And so the two of spades has... Um, they have their second karma card tells me that they have the queen, the king of clubs, which is tells me that they have very strong leadership ability. They're very intelligent. And so when my sister was younger, she had, um, now watch me abuse my cat by throwing a kitchen towel at her. Okay. So the, oh God, this is horrible, but I'm going to upload this when I know I am. So the two of spades finds themselves in leadership ability uh for example my sister she was an executive secretary and she worked in the twin towers and this was prior to 9 11 thank goodness she was living in san francisco during that time so we were very 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 relieved so this is the card of friendship this is the card of love affairs this is the card of conversation and this is the card of wheeler and dealer partnerships these people are good at business Long story short, I'm going to sign off as Madam Rosa. Please go check my uh, photographs. i got to let the cat out. And my photographs, you're going to find a chart where you can find your birth card. Contact me if you need to know anything else. Namaste.